Hey guys, what is up? Phoenix Bomb here, or Ben if you know me personally, and you're just watching for the, the new computer specs. But I finally got around to doing this update video now that we've finished Borderlands 2, and I suppose I'll just jump in straight into it. There'll be a list of all the computer parts in the description, <coughs> but I will just list off what parts I have in my new computer. I have an Intel Core i7 3820 3.6 GHz. Uh, processor, yeah, of course. I have a Gigabyte X79S UP5 Wi Fi Intel X79 motherboard. I'm just I'm just reading off a receipt the names, so you know, if I add something in that doesn't necessarily have to be there, well, tough luck. I have a uh, Patriot Intel Extreme Masters 32 gigabytes of RAM, that's four 8 gigabyte sticks or sticks, yeah, I don't know. I'm supposed to know these things, but I don't. Anyways, I have two Asus GeForce GTX 660 Ti graphics cards in SLI, so that's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, good stuff. I have a Samsung 250GB solid state drive and a Seagate Barracuda 3TB hard drive, as well as a Seasonic X Series 850W 80 plus gold modular power supply. And then the case is a Thermaltake Level 10 GT Visionary Full Tower Case White Snow Edition. And there's ooh, the mouse is a Steel Series Kinzu V2, which is a uh, rubberized black gaming mouse. It's quite nice, I'll admit. And the. Well, yeah, I've also got a gaming mouse, it's a Steel Series Quick or QCK gaming mouse pad. I also have uh, the optical drive, I just went with some Senpai, when it's just a Pioneer 24X internal DVR, blah 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 blah. It'll be in the description if you actually want to know that, but it's only a cheap, just a optical drive. And then there's also, oh, it's also got a water cooling system. For those who are wondering, it's actually a package that's on overclockers.co.uk. Sort of a, it comes as a set so you can just build it straight off instead of having to buy different parts and whatnot. And also what else? Oh keyboard. It is a Razer Recluser or Microsoft Recluser or Microsoft Recluser powered by Razer or something. It's something like that. I think it's Razer Recluser actually. But yeah, it's also it's a Swedish layout, so that's great. I got it about a few years ago. Um off Amazon and when I realised it was the Swedish layout I just didn't use it. But my old keyboard is the wire on it isn't long enough to reach the PC and I wanted to get a uh, Microsoft Sidewinder X4 but I didn't know whether Amazon had the UK layout so I haven't got round to that yet. But yeah that's pretty much all the specs of the computer. Um, again, details are in the description if you actually want to see a list. I was going to do it on Part Picker, but they didn't have some of the parts, so that's good. Plus the whole water cooling system set thing wasn't on there. So, yeah. yeah. That's about it for the PC. There should have been pictures on screen, maybe. That's if the apologize for the quality. I don't have a particularly good digital camera but that's about as good as you get. Plus it was like pitch black outside when I took it so there wasn't much light. But you get to see the cool colours I think. They should, uh, depending on how many, there's like 13 pictures so depending on how long I leave them on for. But this has been four minutes already so wow that should definitely be long enough to show them. But anyways yeah. And it, it works, it works quite well, it does it gets uh, probably plus 100 frames on every game at highest settings. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'll tell you some of the problems I had, because that's the most fun things in the world, problems while building it. Number one, the wire that goes from the power supply unit to the motherboard, the 24 pin one, the actual holes for the pins on the 24 end, not the pins on the motherboard, but the holes in the wires were misaligned so it wouldn't go in. That was fun. That, that, that puts the day behind. The motherboard wasn't, its BIOS wasn't up to date enough for the graphics cards, so it made it go into a loop, boot loop, and so that set us back a while. 
And then another one, oh, water cooling system. They're just a piss take to put together, I'll tell you that much. And another problem was, on my case, the little reset button switch, the little piece of plastic that you press in, was actually a bit too long. So it permanently pressed on the reset switch. So whenever, if, when I had the reset plugged in, which I don't anymore, but when I did, it would essentially, when I turned the computer on, it would keep restarting over and over, appearing as if it was in a boot loop, which it actually was. So that was fun. That set us back a few weeks, I'll tell you. But yeah, so we had a few problems, but it all seems to be working now. Oh, monitors, completely forgot. Yeah, because they're not on this list. I have an Alienware 2310 Full HD 3D 23-inch monitor. I think that's what it is. I don't have it in front of me, but yeah, that's that is what that is. I have two of them. That's always fun. And then speakers are just my old speakers, so I have absolutely no idea what they are, and they've probably been decommissioned for years. But uh, yeah, that's about it. If you want to know what my headphones are, I have a Total Breach PX21. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's the mic I'm actually using at the moment. And then my professional mic, if I do ever get it working, I did get it working at the beginning of Borderlands. Two, but then as some of you may know it broke and I'm pretty sure that was because I didn't have a USB 3.0 port but I have that now on my new computer so essentially if I ever put the effort into getting it working and the wires long enough that's another problem because uh, I've got the computer a good oof, I don't know meter away from the screen I play games on so yeah not, not the best setup but yeah, the actual professional mic I use is an M Audio Producer USB microphone, which is what a lot of other commentators use, if you know much about that. But it's it's supposedly good, I've just never got it working properly. So, yeah. And that is about it for computer specs, I believe. I don't think there's anything else I've forgotten. I'll just check this list. Nope, that is about it. So yeah, that's it for computer specs. Well, if that's all you wanted to know, then that was seven minutes of your life wasted. But, uh, yeah, well, that's my computer. Now, we will get on to games for the channel. If you want, Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about the channel, you can stick around. But uh, I don't mind if you leave. It's, it's, it's up to you. But anyways, unless you actually want to know about the games, then you should probably stay. But on to games. Seeing as though we have actually finished Borderlands 2 now after 190... Oh god. 90 something? 90, 90, 90... 94. 94 parts. 194 parts that took us. That's ridiculous. That's, I've logged like over 50 hours of gameplay on that and just recorded it and put it all up. All of it. There's not one bit that I haven't recorded. So yeah, that was fun. But anyways, um, it means we can actually get on to new games now, uh, which is good because I wanted to do that for a long time. So for Christmas and the Christmas area and the Christmas things, um, do sing things like Steam sales and promotional offers and things that came with the com computer and whatnot, I have acquired a decent amount of games. Now, one game I definitely will be starting is Bioshock because... I started that game almost a few months to, into when the channel began. It was after my first, it was like my second game. And I got about five episodes in and never got around to finishing it. So we're going to restart that and do that. So that's definitely one of the projects coming is Bioshock. But for the new games we got, we got um, Batman Arkham S Asylum. I have actually completed that on my own. And it is a great game, by the way. But I have actually completed that on my own. It took me about 16 hours. And that was also searching for like the hidden things like the Joker challenges and whatnot. But yeah, so I could play that through that if you really want me to. But like I said, I only completed it like a few weeks ago. Um, but that just going through this, I've gotten like statistics for how long it takes to do the story and stuff. Just going through the story, it would take us about twelve hours, which isn't bad. And collecting all the extras, like extra quests and stuff, which there aren't any. It's mainly collectibles. But that would take us, about, uh, assumably, about 15 hours, so I don't think it would. Uh, but we would, ju we would just do the story. I've already got loads of 
unlocks in that game anyway. But yeah, I also got Arkham City and all its DLC with, with the funny costumes. That is actually quite fun. But anyways, um, that takes about 10 hours for the story and about 20 hours if you want to do anything. So we'll probably just do the story, that takes about 10 hours. And then uh, plus 2 hours for DLC, the Harley Quinn's Revenge one. We also have Bioshock 2. Um, so we'll do that after Bioshock, or well, that's just a, that's set as well. But we'll do it after Bioshock. We have Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Uh, that takes about twenty hours to do, do the story, and about thirty hours to do other stuff. And I'd probably end up doing other stuff, but knowing me, but yeah. So I mean, I suppose I could do that if you wanted it, but pro maybe not. I got Dragon Age Origins with um, the Ultimate Edition, mind you. So that is anywhere between 40 to 50 hours for just story and 50 to 80 hours for extras and the extras getting closer to the 80 hours includes all the DLC. So maybe not at the moment but yeah but I did get that game. Hit an absolution and uh, I actually tried that I played about oh again the goddamn statistics I don't know. I have played about in ooh, Hitman Absolution. I played 103 minutes apparently, which by my logic is just under two hours. And that is a really fun game, if you ask me. And I would have played it more, but I, when I started playing it, I actually found it was really fun. And so I was willing. I was thinking I could play that. I mean, it's a it's a it's a very short game. It's only 12 hours for just a story, so that'd be like one through every mission. And yeah, so I, I wouldn't mind doing that if you wanted to do that. It's also really funny and awesome and you can throw it like a fillet knife and it'll hit a guy in the throat or something. It's it's pretty cool. I got Just Cause 2, that's about 17 hours for just the story and about 34 hours for everything else included. No, that's not a completionist by the way, that's like just all the extra missions and stuff. So it's not completionist getting everything. But yeah. I also got Mass Effect 2. That is about 24 hours for just the story. Wait, no, what? I don't know. I've got different numbers here. Oh, no, no, no. No, Mass Effect 2, sorry. Mass Effect 2 is about 30, 35 hours for just the story. No, this is just... I have just messed up my notes completely. Maybe it's about 30 hours. Anyways, 30 hours for just the story and about 35 hours for the extras. But that, the reason it's all messed up is because I also have Mass Effect 1 that I've had for a while and I've already completed. But if you wanted me to do a Mass Effect 1 playthrough before I attempted Mass Effect 2, there is about 16 hours for just the story and about 24 for the with for like side missions and stuff. So I wouldn't mind doing Mass Effect 1 if we just did a story playthrough. That's, that's essentially what I'm going to call a quick playthrough, where I just go through the story with any game like that. Also got Metro 2033, um, that takes about 11 hours just to do 9 to 11 hours. So I wouldn't mind doing that, I don't know much about it, but it's, it's supposed to be good. Um, Civ 5, I am not doing a playthrough of that, because I have logged about 10 hours in that, and I'm about, I think, Last night I logged four hours and I went through from like 600 BC to 1750 AD and I just, it was ridiculous because it's not a sort of game you can stop after an hour, it's the sort of game where you will say you'll play for half an hour or an hour and by the time you look at your clock it's like 1am. So I can't really do that. Uh, I'd love to because it is an amazing game. I mean, it, but also there's not much that goes on. It's essentially you do something and then you wait a few turns for things to be done. So yeah. No, it is fun. Definitely worth picking up if you want to play it. But I probably won't be doing anything on it. Um, Sleeping Dogs. I got that. That's apparently only a 12 hour playthrough for the... Um, it's just the story. Or 20 hours for side missions as well. But yeah, I wouldn't mind doing Sleeping Dogs if it's only 12 hours. And then Far Cry 3 I also got. And... I, again, wouldn't mind doing that. It's quite a new game. Maybe quite a few of you would want to see that. That is 11 hours for just the story or 20 hours for the side extras. But the side extras are just hunting missions and stuff. So I'd probably just like speed through the story and just do that. So that would only take about 11 hours. So just to recap, games that I probably would do 
would include Batman Arkham City, um, Hitman Absolution, Metro 2033, Sleeping Dogs, or Far Cry 3. Games that I would consider include Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Just Cause 2, and Deus Ex Human Revolution, and possibly Batman Arkham Asylum. But apart from excluding Arkham Asylum, they are all like 20 hour games, and I did want to get some like 10 hour games done, because that only takes like, ooh, 10, 6, yeah. Anywhere between 40 and 60 episodes. So that so would be perfect for me. But like I said, we're definitely doing Bioshock. And I've got Bioshock 2 for afterwards. So maybe one or two games I can start. And so just put it in the description which games you want to see. You can obviously write down more than one. Don't write down them all because then I just, yeah, you know, logic. But yeah, if you want to see like Far Cry 3 or whatever. I don't know why I picked an example. I just said one of them. I sort of want to do Far Cry 3 if I'm honest. But if you don't pick it, I'm just going to play it anyway. So yeah. Uh, if yeah, but if you want to see one of those first five games, I can probably do um, two of them, including Bioshock. If you want to see one of the others, I can probably do one of them, including Bioshock. So yeah, so you guys pick. Next, I have finished all my exams. That was that was the game section, by the way. That was the vote. If you just wanted to vote, you're not bothered about the rest. Again, while it's going on to 16 minutes, that's quite a while. I'm gonna have to leave in like 20 minutes. That's not good. Let's hope I finish. Exams, yes, I finished my exams. I I finished Wednesday, which was yesterday. And they they went alright. I won't say they were go bad. Just just in case any of you were worrying. Yeah. Uh, I, I got the results in March, so you know, if you don't hear much after me from me after March, I'm probably dead. But um, yeah, so I think that went well. Uh yeah. Schedule. Uh probably get back to two episodes a day soon it doesn't necessarily mean the same game so if i'm doing three games i'll do one of each game per day if i'm doing two games one of yeah blah blah, blah. you get it you get the logic anyways and ah oh, well i actually got through that last section quite quick i don't think there was anything else but last one my intro i've had for a long time and as nice as it is i'm slightly bored of it and it annoys me every time i hear it so <laughs> Also, I think better than an intro is actually an outro because it sh it labels the video as yours, but it also gives the people the option to skip and doesn't get annoying. Like if it's at the end, you just press go to next video. If you subscribe to me and you watch like every one of my videos, you're gonna have to watch this thing over and over. Whereas if you watch it a few times, oh that's cool, that's nice, I like that. And then you know, yeah. Plus it's a lot simpler. It can just be like a nice piece of artwork with some fancy music behind it. So yeah, I'm looking into getting an outro. I've sort of picked music. I did want some eight bit sort of chip tune esque music, but it's really hard to find royalty free music that's exactly what you want and is free. So um, I've I tried. I found some music. It's not the best, but it's it's nice enough. But if I find any other mu music, I can always swap it in. I do need to get someone to design like an outro page. I don't particularly want one of those where you're like, you see more from this video, and then it's like a video moving, because that just awkward, and I'd have to make it, and it would annoy me. This is going to be a bugger to make anyway, just putting pictures in. Imagine I have to do it if I had to put, like, a supersede of video in. That's that's going to be... That's far too much effort. But anyways, um... So yeah, that's plans for the future, so if you stop seeing an intro and start seeing an outro, that is an outro. So I do want to get that done. Uh... I think that is about it we are going to start doing some more fancy projects so not just games i have a list of about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten different ideas some of which are probably bad some of which are like machinimas some of which uh, little tidbit videos, you know, no, do that is a point. I need to do that, but yeah. So we on the lookout for new fancy stuff that you might enjoy if I ever get round to it, which I might do. And that is about it. Thanks for watching. This did go on for twenty minutes. I have no idea what's gonna go in on the background. Like originally, it starts off with the pictures of the PC and my and my desk. And by the way, if you saw two computers, 
which you probably did if I remember. Uh, it's because I haven't moved my old one out yet because I just I like moving stuff across and all that. I need to do that and just check what programs I needed. So that's why there was a. I'm not just though it is actually quite functional and I do have both on at once most of the time. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> that is about it. I did actually want to get a picture of my next of my old PC next to my new PC because my new PC is a full tower case and. It is blooming huge. It is it is it's like two foot tall and probably f three foot wide and about a foot deep, whereas my old PC was probably less than a foot wide, less than a foot deep, and maybe a foot and a half long. So yeah, how much? Oh, also, I'm trying to get the well. I will eventually get the new microphone set up and working probably hopefully maybe words that don't promise anything yeah um so yeah i will soon get that cuz it should be better quality you know logic did hate that it is and i like logic because i like star trek so those words work and i think that's about it you will be seeing some I don't want to ruin it, actually. No, I won't ruin it for you. <laughs> Anyways, that is about it, I think. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. Should be getting up to quite a few videos a day soon. I'm rambling now. I didn't, I didn't want to ramble. I, I was doing so well up until here. I don't know why I'm dragging it out. I'm, this is pointless, just saying words. I'm going to put a secret message for you, those of you who lasted this long. And I will say the time is now 18.10 on the 24th of the 1st, 2013. And there are trees in the window. That's the secret message. There are trees in the window. You're now part of my Illuminati. I hope you enjoy that and accept it. Please tell me if you're part of my Illuminati. And don't tell other people. That is a warning. We are a dangerous Illuminati, I tell you. Anyways, so yeah, you guys look forward to the videos. I look forward to making them. It should be all fun. We're going to be in nice, pristine colors, maybe 1080p. No, yeah, we will be in 1080p because I run everything in 1080p. So it's logical to run things in 10, record, render things in 1080p. And I think that is about it and if I ever figure out how to get 3D working on my monitors and how to record it so that the YouTube videos are in 3D if you guys wanna have 3D monitors too I'll put up some videos for you in 3D and then we can marvel in the 3D together wouldn't that be so cool because I have 3D monitors because I'm badass yeah <laughs> okay now I have embarrassed myself so I'm just rambling you guys don't have to listen anymore. You can go. It's fine. I'm never going to press stop. I'm just going to keep recording forever and ever and ever. I, I feel like there's something I've forgotten. Probably. But there's not because I made a list. I should probably stop now. Is this entertaining? I hope it is. Bye, guys. I'm going to miss you. Tell your friends. Bye.